Okay, this video is on multiplying matrices. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're going to multiply row 1 times column 1, row, two, row 1 times column 2. So this one right here is row 1 times column 1. This is row 1 times column 2. This down here is row 2 times column 1 and row 2 times column 2. So you might want to look back at this, but I think the best way to do it is just do an example. We have two matrices, and basically this is what we're trying to do. And what we're going to do is multiply these. And so I'm going to make it kind of big here and um, see where we can end. So it's row 1. So rows go across. This is row 1 times column 1. So we're going to multiply 1 times 5 plus, then we take the second element, and we're multiplying the second element, plus 4 times 9. And when you add that together, you can get the first element. Now, the second part is going to be row 1 times column 2. So it's going to be 1 times negative 7. Always put a plus. You're going to add 4 times 6. All right. Now we're going to take row 2 times column 1. And again, we're doing the elements. So it's 3 times 5. plus negative 2 times 9. Then we're going to do it again, but with column 2. It's column 1. Here's row 1, row 2. So we're going to get 3 times negative 7 minus 2, or plus a negative. Let's do plus a negative 2 times 6. Okay, and when you simplify this, you will get 41, 17, negative 3, and negative 33. And what I suggest you do is keep practicing this. If you want to multiply, try multiplying B times A. Multiply those two, and what you should get is negative 16, 27, 34, and 24. So this equals A times B. And if you do B times A, they're not the same. So AB, A times B, does not equal B times A. That means matrix multiplication. If I can spell matrix multiplication is not commutative. I'm not writing very good. It's not commutative. Not commutative. All right. Now, let's try um checking also. So the next thing we need to do is check to see if we can even, if the matrix multiplication is defined. So we're going to do some problems here and the thing you need to know is we have 1, this is 3, negative 1, and we have 5, 7. So this is a 1 by 2. It's always row times column. Okay? This one here is a 2 by 1. It has two rows and it has one column. As long as these two numbers are the same in the middle, that means it is defined and we can multiply. And this one would be easy. And we're going to end up getting the first and the last. We're going to get a 1 by 1 matrix. So we're multiplying um, 
row 1 by column, so that's going to be 15, and negative 1 times 7, which is negative 7. Okay, let's try another one. We have um, negative 1, 5, 0, 4. So this is a 2 by 2. And we have a 4. Oops, why am I putting a comma? <coughs> 4, negative 6. And this is a 1 by 2. One row and uh, two columns. So there's two columns. One row goes this way. Since these two numbers aren't the same, this is not defined, and we cannot even multiply it. And we can try. I'll show you how you try. Because basically, you're supposed to multiply this by the first column. So negative 1 times 4 plus 0. And it doesn't work because we don't have another column to uh, multiply. So just check your dimensions here. Um, let's try one more here. Let's try, I'm just going to go to about 10 minutes here. 5, 0, negative 4, 1. And we want to multiply it by negative 3, 2, 6, 2. Now this is like the first one we did. This is a 2 by 2, 2 by 2. Since these two numbers are the same, um, this is our dimension, 2 by 2. So this just tells us if it's defined, and then we do the 2 by 2. So basically, I'm going to make it kind of big here. This is uh, row 1 times column 1, and you add each piece. So it's 5 times negative 3 plus 0 times 6. Then we're going to do row 1 times column 2, which is 5 times 2 plus 0 times 2. All right, and then we're going to take the second row, first column, which is negative 4 times negative 3 plus 6 times 1, or 1 times 6. And then we're going to take a second row with the second column which is negative 4 times 2 plus 1 times 2. And you clean this up, and we're going to get negative 15, 10, 12 plus 6 is what? 18. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. So this would be A times B if this is matrix A and this is matrix B. Okay? And let's try another one. We have 5, 0, 1, 2, negative 4, 6, times 3, negative 2, 7, 0. Now let's check the dimensions to see if we can multiply this. This has three rows. See, so the rows go this way. There's three of them. And two columns. The columns come down here. And this one is a 2 by 2. Since these two are the same, that means we can multiply it. It is defined, and we're going to get a 3 by 2. You take these two. So we know it's going to look like um, this one. So I'm going to make it more long like this. So because we're going to have three rows and only two columns. So we get 5 times 3 plus 2 times negative 2 and 5 times 7 plus 2 times 0. Now that was our first row. And the second one we're going to do this one now. 0 times 3 minus 4 times negative 2, and then that was this one, and now we're going to multiply it by the second one. 0 times 7 
plus negative 4 times 0. And now we're going to, that was this one, and now we're going to take the last one and multiply it. And we're going to get uh, 1 times 3 plus 6 times negative 2. And then we're going to get 1 times 7 um, plus 6 times 0. Now if you notice, all these numbers here are the same. These are my column numbers. All right? Those are my column numbers. So I have 0, 0, 0, 7, 7, 7. And now let's see if I can um, put it to the side here and do this kind of mentally without messing up. You know it's going to be a 3 by 2. So fifth, I'm going to do this one. 15 minus 2 minus 4 is 11. 0, I'm doing this one. 0 plus 8 is 8. 3 minus 12 is negative 9. This one's going to be 35, because I don't even have to look at those. Those are all zeros. So we have 35, 0, and 7. And that's how you do matrix multiplication. The next thing we're going to do <coughs> is determinants and applying Kramer's rule. And I hope you all have a nice day.